in Katie's classroom. Oh, <laughs> hi everyone. Come on into the classroom. Ooh. Must have fallen asleep. Do you ever feel really sleepy? Sleep is very important. When we sleep, we give our bodies and our brains a chance to rest. It's a really good thing for us to do. And when we wake up, we have lots of energy to play and learn and sing. <laughs> Oh, I feel much better now. I'm all ready to play. How about you? Let's start by singing a big hello to all our friends in the classroom today. Here we go. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? Shout it out nice and loud. That's a beautiful name. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> Do you ever have a hard time getting to sleep? Sometimes it can be tricky, even if we feel really tired. But going to sleep can get easier if we do the same thing every night before bed. That's called a routine. Do you have a bedtime routine? What are some things we should do in our bedtime routine? Oh, brush our teeth, yeah. We should always clean our teeth before bed. Let's pretend to brush them together. We need a toothbrush, some toothpaste, and we'll brush up and down, side to side, round and round and the ones in the back let's spit let's see Ooh, very nice lovely clean teeth <laughs> what else is good to do before bed maybe take a bath when we have a bath we can relax get all clean and ready for bed in the bath we can wash our hair wash our arms wash our tummy, all the way down to our toes. Scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> it's a nice way to get ready for bed. And when we get out of the bath, we can put on our pajamas. Our pajama top and our pajama bottoms. That always feels nice and cozy. Do you have a favorite pair of pajamas you like to wear? Maybe they have polka dots on them, or your favorite color. I have some paper pajamas here in the classroom. Ooh, look at all the colors. We have three tops and three bottoms. Can we help our friend put on their pajamas? We'll have to find two that match. Let's see. Let's try this one. Orange with purple polka dots. Do you see the bottoms that are orange with purple polka dots? Hmm. No, that's not a match. Aha, there it is. Orange with purple polka dots. Ooh, those are nice pajamas. <laughs> Let's try another one. How about ooh, the striped pajamas? Green and yellow stripes. Do you see the green and yellow striped bottoms? Here they are. Striped pajamas. Ooh, I like those too. We have one more match to make. Let's start with the bottoms this time. Ooh, what shape do you see on these pajamas? Stars. And look, stars on the top too. Ooh, the stars come out when we go to sleep. Now our friend's all ready for bed. Ooh, what's that? Oh, 
our friend would like us to sing them a bedtime song before they go to sleep. Singing a song is a nice thing to do before bed. Let's sing them a song together. Let's sing the lullaby, Sweet Dreams. You can sing along with me. Good night to you, good night to me. Now close your eyes and go to sleep. Good night, sleep tight, sweet dreams tonight. Good night, I love you. Let's sing it one more time. A little softer. Good night to you, good night to me. Now close your eyes and go to sleep. Good night, sleep tight, sweet dreams tonight. Good night, I love you. <laughs> Great everybody. Let's check on our friend. Look, they're sleeping. Shh. Good night. Oh, someone's calling the classroom. Let's see who it is. Hello. Hi, Katie. Hi, Toby. Hello. What's wrong? I can't find my Scruffy anywhere. Scruffy is my special teddy bear, and he's gone. Oh, no. I don't know where he is. I've looked everywhere. Oh, Toby, I'm so sorry that happened. Oh, I can't go to sleep without my Scruffy. I always say goodnight to him before bed. Well, I'm sure wherever Scruffy is, he's safe and warm. I hope you find him soon. Me too. Do you have any other teddy bears? Yes, but none of them are like Scruffy. I know, but I bet your other teddy bears would be really excited if you said goodnight to them instead. You could even pick one to stay in your bed. That would be super special. Yeah, that would be special. I bet they'd be really excited. Hey, they sure would. I think I'm going to go tell them now. That will make them so happy. Aw, good idea. Bye, Katie. Bye, Toby. <laughs> oh, poor Toby. It can be scary to lose something special. Do you have a special stuffed animal that you like to sleep with? Or maybe a special song or story you like to hear before bed? Reading a bedtime story is a special part of a bedtime routine. Let's read one together with the Kamishibai. <laughs> this is a Kamishibai. It's a special way of storytelling from Japan. Let's see what story the Kamishibai has for us today. Ooh. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I like this story. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a cottage in the woods. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. One morning, the bears were about to eat their breakfast, but the porridge was too hot. Oh no, said Baby Bear. What are we going to do? I have an idea, said Mama Bear. Let's go for a walk in the woods, and while we walk, our porridge will cool. Very good, said Papa Bear, and off they went. Also out walking in the woods was Goldilocks. She had been walking a long while and realized she was lost. Oh no! She walked and walked and soon came to a cottage in the woods. Hello, she called, but no one was home. The door was open. So she went inside. At the table in the kitchen were three bowls of porridge. 
a red bull, a blue bull, and a yellow bull. Goldilocks was very hungry. She tasted the porridge in the red bull. This porridge is much too hot, she said. So she tasted the porridge in the blue bowl. This porridge is much too cold, she said. Then she tasted the porridge in the yellow bowl. Ah, she said, this porridge is just right. And she happily ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> After she ate all the porridge, Goldilocks was feeling tired. She went into the living room and saw three chairs, a red chair, a blue chair, and a yellow chair. Goldilocks sat in the red chair. This chair is much too hard, she said. So she sat in the blue chair. This chair is much too soft, she said. Then she tried the yellow chair. Ah, she said, this chair is just right. And she settled in. But just then, oh no, the chair cracked and broke. Oh dear. Now Goldilocks was feeling very tired. So she went upstairs to the bedroom. There she found three beds, a red bed, a blue bed, and a yellow bed. She tried the red bed. This bed is much too hard, she said. So she tried the blue bed. This bed is much too soft, she said. Then she tried the yellow bed. Ah, she said, this bed is just right. And she quickly fell fast asleep. <sighs> Meanwhile, the bears came home from their walk. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Baby Bear. And they ate it all up. The bears walked into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear, and they broke it. Oh no. The bears decided to take a look upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear, and she's still there. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. Are you the one who's been eating our porridge and sitting in our chairs and sleeping in our beds? Asked the bears. Oh, I'm so sorry, said Goldilocks. I was lost in the woods and came looking for help. I'm so sorry that I ate your porridge and broke your chair and slept in your beds. The three bears forgave Goldilocks and called her mother to come walk her home. And Goldilocks's mother brought ice cream. Thank you for taking care of Goldilocks, she said. And they all became good friends. The end. That was a nice story. Reading a bedtime story can really make you feel like you're all ready for bed and it's time to sleep. We're experts at getting ready for bed now. Let's sing a song about it together. Let's sing, This is the way we go to bed. And we can show all the things we do to get ready for bed. Like take a bath. This is the way we take a bath. Take a bath, take a bath. This is the way we take a bath. We do it every evening. Let's show how we put on our pajamas. This is the way we put on our pajamas. Put on our pajamas. Put on our pajamas. This is the way we put on our pajamas. We do it every evening. 
Let's brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth. We do it every evening. Let's show how we read a book. This is the way we read a book. Read a book. Read a book. This is the way we read a book. We do it every evening. It's time to say goodnight. This is the way we say goodnight. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. This is the way we say goodnight. We do it every evening. Goodnight. Great job, give yourselves a big clap. <laughs> All ready for bed. Now we can sleep and get some rest. And when it's time to wake up, we'll be ready to sing and play and make crafts like this one. This craft has two sides, one with a moon and one with a sun. Flipping it over is a great way to say good night before bed or to say good morning. I'll show you how you can make a craft like this at home. Let's gather the things we need. Some things we need for this craft are ribbon, construction paper, a paper plate, and a grown-up. To start, we'll trace our paper plate onto a yellow piece of construction paper to make a perfect circle, that's gonna be part of our moon shape. Then we'll make some curvy lines down the middle of the circle to make a crescent moon. We'll make some craters on our moon with a bottle cap. Just take a bottle cap and dip it in some yellow paint and you can stamp it all over your moon. And it makes that really neat crater look that we see on the surface of the moon. You can use both sides to make some different shapes. And it doesn't matter if you go over the lines because we're gonna let it dry and then cut it out. It'll look something like this, there. We can add a face to our moon. How about a sleepy time face since we sleep when the moon comes out, there. Now we can paint our paper plate. I have one already painted here. We paint the top part of the plate blue and the bottom yellow. That's gonna be our sun. Let's attach our moon to our paper plate with a little bit of glue. We'll add some glue to the round edge of our moon here. And onto our plate, that'll help it stick really well. There we go. Stick it on here, onto the night sky. We can add some stars to our night sky with a pencil. Dip the eraser end into some white paint. Look at that, stars. We can make some small stars by dipping the writing end of the pencil and stamping it. Ooh, a starry night sky. On the other side, we'll make our sun. We're gonna cut a bunch of triangles out of our orange construction paper. I have some here already. And we're gonna glue them around our yellow paper plate. There we go. All the way around the edge. These are going to be the rays of the sun. When the sun comes up, you see the beautiful rays of light, you know it's time to say good morning. All the way around. There we go. And now we'll make a sunshine face. We'll add some googly eyes. Lots of glue here. 
One, two, there we go. And we'll make a face with a black marker. Some eyebrows, a nose, and a big smiley face for our sun. Now we want to attach it to the wall by our bed so we can turn it over when it's night and morning. So we'll make a hole here with a hole punch and we'll add some ribbon so we can hang it up. Put the ribbon through the hole. And we'll tie a knot at the end. It's a nice blue ribbon. Ta-da! We did it! You can make this craft at home and make it a new part of your bedtime routine by flipping it over every night before bed. Good night. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye here in the classroom. I had a lot of fun with you. Let's sing and we'll wave a big goodbye to all our friends. Bye bye, goodbye. Thanks for playing with me. See you soon. <laughs>